this week's list of the top trending calming and soothing products public voted on my instagram page i guess this category basically encompasses barrier repair overall anything to help with like redness tightness irritation just overall skin discomfort and this is always a popular voting category there were a few tied votes this week so although it's a top 10 there are more than 10 products that will appear starting with number 10 the tatcha indigo overnight repair this is like a serum in cream and feels super Super comforting it's like it almost creates like a veil and tied at number 10 is the build skincare bee balm as you know a personal favorite like all-time ride or die favorite i said sort of the touch that creates a veil bee balm is like it creates a halo bee balm is a gel squalane oil that can be applied on top of other products or mixed in with most moisturizers and i call it a halo because it kind of hovers over my skin it doesn't like absorb instantly i kind of use it yeah as like a slugging balm or as an over night mask and it's just super protective and healing. Number nine is the Naturium Barrier Bounce. This is quite a rich moisturizing serum. Some people would say it's a reverse emulsion. It's like where the oil component is the predominant part of the formula and that way it just feels much richer and more nourishing on the skin. Number eight is the Saatchi Skin Pro Resilient Serum. This is kind of on the opposite spectrum of Barrier Bounce where this is quite a gel kind of water-based serum and has an abundance of skin soothing ingredients. Think like glue glucosides and peptides. Number eight is the Stratia Lipid Gold Moisturizer. This is definitely a cult favorite product. For me personally, it was a bit too rich and I kind of found it a bit suffocating, but I definitely understand why people love it. Number seven is Neod Modulating Glucosides. I found this one to be great for dehydration, but didn't personally help me very much with actual redness, but it's still a good option to try, especially considering the price point is quite good for a Neod product. Number six is the prequel Redness Reform Soothing Serum. I've only used a sample of this one, so I don't have any real thoughts. It is very light and it's like a gel texture, but seems to have a really nice, well-blended list of ingredients. It's actually quite a new release. Number five is the TBH Rebound Serum. It's great. This is now easy to pick up in Australia. I'm pretty sure I've seen it at Coles. Number four is the Aven Sickle Fate. This has been around for so many years and my memory of using it has faded a bit. From what I do remember, it was basically a richer, kind of more nourishing emollient version of Sicker Plus. Number four is the Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. The infamous Pink Serum. I think one of the best launches from the Ordinary today and I've really enjoyed using it. Number three is the prequel Barrier Therapy Skin Protectant Cream. This uses colloidal oatmeal as its star ingredient. I really enjoy the texture of this one. It's like a soft meringue without the stickiness, but I would say I probably predominantly use it as a body cream. Number two is Dew Deliverance. I've, I feel like I've spoken so much about Deliverance in my last few videos, but this is such a good serum, like just for overall skin health. So I definitely understand why it's popular. I wouldn't necessarily say that it like fixes my skin immediately it's just more of an ongoing long-standing favorite that takes care of my skin overall and number one probably no surprise is the La Roche-Posay Cicoplast the reign of Cicoplast just won't let up I feel like I see a video about it every day on Instagram this is an awesome product personally it's a little bit heavy and I find that it clogs my pores if I use it too many consecutive days in a row so when I do use it it's not often just like a few times a year really let me know if you prefer the old formula or the updated version I feel like I hear mixed feedback about that that's it for this week's list thank you for voting and participating and I'll see you in the next video.